In this video, we'll talk about some few changes I've noticed in Subtitle Edit 3.6.8 Beta and uh, the version I'm going to be walking you through is Subtitle Edit 3.6.8 Next Beta 104. Now, uh, I downloaded this from uh, the Subtitle Edit page and this is as of like six hours ago uh, and there are a couple of things I've noticed uh, so we can just minimize this. I walked you through uh, the video on that whisper is getting faster uh, and this was the initial version this is the official subtitle edit 3.6.8 uh, version and uh, this was extremely slow so one thing that has been improved in pre in versions past version 70 of the beta version is uh, whisper is much faster transcribes much faster etc so this is the official 3.6.8 now let's go to 3.6.8 beta 104 so you'll notice how the text is with this version it's just blocky and it's just read everywhere now let's go to uh, like video open video file let's get just the same video and then we can go to video audio to text via whisper and then you'll, you'll choose whatever you want to choose and i'll leave everything as it is click on generate and now we have kind of like a timer right here that's telling us how much time is being spent that is actually going to shift somewhere here to let us know the time remaining and it's incremental instead of maybe going the other way i would have loved it to be going the other way so that we can know how long it takes but for a three minute file it's taking about 25 26 seconds uh, so i already know how long this file is going to take it's almost done there we go it's about 26 seconds but the first thing you'll notice or realize is that now it seems like whisper has some character limit set inside subtitle edit which is really really uh, a highly welcome move uh, but now from that you can notice that it's now adding punctuation where there should be no punctuation so for example when you do like hi there is a comma and a full stop so uh, it's it tends to add something uh, kind of like a full stop almost everywhere uh, for example the likes for example this should be continuous the likes the dislikes the shares uh, so uh, now for example here you can notice that it's adding a full stop uh, kind of thinking that it's done but uh, since it's still a beta it can still be worked on uh, to avoid this issue but the one thing that you'll notice is that it's segmenting things as they should be Probably the next thing that uh, should happen or hopefully would happen is that it actually recognizes that this particular text needs to start somewhere there. So that would be really awesome. Speed up a couple of things uh, and end somewhere there. And then as for this section, start somewhere there and so on and so forth. Now, that's what I've noticed inside this. Uh, it's much faster and we've got a better characters or i believe there's a limit that has been set on the characters per like block i think if i'm not mistaken uh, i should be somewhere around 86 characters or so on and so forth uh, but i just wanted to let you know that uh, the beta versions uh you have uh, something of that sort uh, and you can see what i'm saying for example for this one the high my name there was no full stop here in the older versions but in the new version the beta version you'll notice that there's that. So I'm not sure what is going on. Hopefully it's going to be kind of fixed. And then you can see like this name.com insights.com. When you come to this one, insights.com, it still uh, obeys like the .com rule etc. Uh, but uh, hopefully since this is still in beta, something that can be worked on. But just to tell you like, Whisper now has like a character limit set uh, so it will speed up the process. Hopefully the punctuation issue can be worked on. Uh, that's it for me. My name is David. If you'd like to test it out, go to the link in the description below. Check out for the beta releases uh, for you uh, to test it out. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, never stop learning. Thanks for watching.